Hi, I'm Brendan. This week we read Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. The one thing I really liked about this story was the way it was written in three separate parts, and each one was kind of its own. It, they each had like a different theme, I guess. Um, I also really liked the character development that Farquhar had. Um, you could tell that he was like really devoted to the southern efforts of the Civil War and, you know, his plantation, but, you know, his wife kind of took like a backseat and like he didn't show that he cared that much about her and I think through the story he kind of developed and in like the last couple pages we see that you know he has that dream where he misses his wife a lot and I think that's kind of like an internal conflict with him you know at first he is completely devoted to the south and will do anything to make the south win but by the end you know he is really worried about his wife and he misses her and wondering what she's doing as he's coming back from the river only for us to find out that he ends up dying anyway. I really liked that it was kind of a hallucination of him escaping being hung. I thought it was really interesting and it's kind of like the life flashing before your eyes kind of thing. What you're gonna miss like what would happen if you did survive but you know he ends up dying anyway which I thought was really interesting and it was a really good ending to the story as a whole. Another thing that I thought was really important was the setting. Obviously none, of, almost none of this would be occurring if it didn't take place during the Civil War and in Alabama. Alabama was kind of in between the north and the so south sides of the war, so when it made sense when the Federal Scout came through and talked about Owl Creek Bridge and Farquhar was like, we should ransack this camp at Owl Creek Bridge or whatever that's only 30 miles away. And then at the end of part two, we realized that, you know, it was a federal scout that he was talking to, which in turn makes sense why Farquhar was, I guess, hung by the Union soldiers because he had made efforts and plans to go against the northern side of the war. Overall, I thought it was a really good story with a lot of character development with Farquhar and a plot twist at the end, and it was really interesting and really cool.